budget. You see, if for shit, I'll be a bro. They, they say that this one, this one, say, say that. Asha in a golden age for Ghanaian known small scale mining for wealth and jobs and promote sustainable and responsible small scale mining, including addressing illegal mining mm. by. So there are four reasons he stated by A. Making available proven reserve data to small scale miners to help deal with associated problems or try and error digging. So he basically saying that you two are you two are only because they are not using machines. And the last time Leo said it mm. that we can get young people from the geological department. And he mentioned it yesterday. And he mentioned, he mentioned it. it yesterday. So that meaning that Leo, Leo's voice is in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, we so, we do, B, so, so we don't do the try and error kind of yes. thing people are doing. Yeah. Then the yeah. B says that simplify the small scale mining licensing regime. And he said that, and here I was listening keenly, mm. that together with the districts, they will set up a district uh, uh, mining committees where they will be in charge of the license and then all that you will require to do is your Ghana card. Mm. Then the C, scaling up the use of mercury-free gold uh, cutter machine technology, which is less damaging to the environment. So being that they will bring in a certain technology that will not involve the use of mercury in the pollution of the environment. There are, there are machines then, like that, but it's expensive. Yes, we said they'll bring it. So we we'll track it. Okay. Mm. You know, manifestos are social contracts. And social contracts, when you go contrary to your side of the contract, I can punish or reward you because I'm a voter. Mm. So let me just read for Ghanaians. <laughs> he said that the final one is ensure strict adherence to our mining laws and regulations prevent illegal and improper mining practice. David, they should start from China. And, and then you know what Dave, I'm coming. Dave, I'm coming. No, they should you, start. You, I just want to add something. You mm. just say it. But again, one thing that I also heard yesterday was that um, even those who are into this uh, community mining and all that will be uh, well equipped. So they will buy the right equipments. Okay, so so it's not done actually. Okay. So he says that protect and reserve our water resources, mm -hmm. uh, Dave. But he also mentioned that the big mining companies yeah. they mostly have shafts they are not using, mm. so they will turn those shafts into community mining schemes mm. for the people to do. Dave, they should start from Chema. <laughs> the D. Yeah. There's documented enough documented evidence, evidence yeah. by the reigning journalists of the year, mm. the venerable Erastus Asaridonko, to the effect that Chema to me entered forest reserves in our country and based on the releases of the lands and forestry minister Samuel Abujinapo, mm. he did not have authorization. We shouldn't say as we speak he's not in the forest. He went into the forest without authorization. He destroyed forest reserves. He destroyed our water. They should start from the company owned by Chema Wuntumi where there's documented evidence mm. of him entering our forest and doing what they did. Do you see the, the, the importance of this that when Chema to me is touched, Kwame and Santin Tontokrum would dare not do that. When Chema to me is touched, no ordinary Ghanaian will have the boldness to do what he did. So let's set examples with people. Thank you.